doing? I hope you're doing wonderful out there. I'm doing wonderful, enjoying nature, feeling the nice breeze and taking it all in. But anyway, um, I wanted to talk to y'all about something. You know, um, a friend girl of mine, an associate, we were having a conversation and I really asked her could we uh, talk about it on social media in which she declined because she said she's not a social media person and she would freeze up on social media she would get camera shy so I respected that so here I am okay so we had a personal conversation um, in which I'm going to share with you all uh, and she asked me what did I think about P. Diddy uh, from a spiritual standpoint and I told her, well, from a spiritual standpoint, um, I feel like P. Diddy sold his soul. And my friend girl um, said to me, she said, um, you can't sell your soul because your soul belongs to God. So that's impossible. So she didn't believe that P. Diddy sold his soul. But this is what I had to correct her on. And I've heard so many people say that you cannot sell your soul because it belongs to God. And to me, a lot of people say that out of ignorance, out of really not knowing. Or some people say that and know that that is a trick of the enemy. Because if you really believe that your soul belongs to God and therefore you can't sell it then if you had some kind of offer there may be some people be like a grin okay yeah I'll do it I, I'll go on I'll sell my soul thinking well really I, I can't sell it because it belongs to God and you get tricked let me tell you something you can sell your soul yes your soul belongs to God but God made us free will beings to make decisions for everything about us, including our soul, okay? We have free will, y'all. And if you will to sell your soul for whatever purpose, that even though your soul belongs to God, God is not going to stop you from selling your soul because he makes you a free will being. You have a decision to do it or not to do it. So, yes, you can sell your soul, okay? I've had two exes in my life, like I told um, this associate of mine, that sold their soul, and they admitted to me that they sold their soul. One of my exes sold his soul for knowledge. The other of my ex sold his soul for money. And they both got, the ex that sold his soul for knowledge, he got knowledge. And the one that sold his soul for money got money, okay? But in the end, they did not win, okay? Because one of my exes, he is no longer living. Evil took his butt out. And my other ex, I don't know where he is. But, and I don't care to know, okay? But, and both of them, um, they had some real supernatural um, demonic activity going on around them. And I did not question for one minute that they were not demon possessed, okay? So I told... When this lady asked me, what did I think about P. Diddy? Yeah, I said, he's demon-possessed. And when I told her that because we are free will beings and we have a choice and God gave us a choice and if we decide to give our soul up, then God is not going to hold your soul. He's going to let them have it. She said, well, I never thought about it like that. I said, yeah. And I said, you got a lot of people out here that think that they can't sell their soul, but they can. And me, I've seen it firsthand with people that I've known that actually did cross over. And um, 
And I witnessed a lot of evil, freaking, supernatural activity, y'all. In which I'm so glad that um, I departed from both of them, you know. Um, I'm so glad. But anyway, um, yes, P. Diddy is a narcissist, like I told her. And a narcissist has no conscience. But if you're a human being, you're supposed to have human emotions, right? If you're a human being, you're supposed to have human emotions. But if you don't have human emotions, then what do you have? You have demonic emotions, and that's because you have a demonic spirit that works works in you, or more than one. And so, look, look at it like, if you open yourself up for rituals, demonic rituals, you don't think demons gonna wanna come in? They don't have a body. So yeah, they're gonna wanna possess your soul and so like p diddy and and probably so many others they have sold their soul for everything but in the end it profits you nothing like the word said what's a man who said sells his soul and gains the whole world it profits him nothing absolutely nothing so saying that, you know, uh, that was that was just a little discussion between me and her. And I mean, y'all think about it. Someone who wants to victimize children, women and men, don't you know? That those are demons that work in that person. Don't you know those are demons? Because demons don't have a conscience, y'all. And every narcissist that I've ever met, they had some kind of demonic issue. Every last one of them has some kind of demonic issue. And some kind of serious demonic powers or activities going on around them. So, um, like I told her, I said, demons can't go to trial, but people can. And I had this dream, y'all. And I told her about it. I said, I had a dream. And she said, what was the dream? And I said, the dream was... It, it was black, so I couldn't see the judge. I couldn't see anybody in the um, courtroom. But the judge had said, P. Diddy, you're not found guilty on any of these charges. You're allowed to go. And then P. Diddy himself looked at me, y'all, just like this. Now... My friend girl said that was a nightmare, not a dream. But I just felt like that is just like the dream master fucking with me, you know. Um, I don't believe P. Diddy is going to get off. Not with uh, all the allegations, like 120 people coming up with these lawsuits women men and children allegations of being ass assaulted along with the racketeering the drug possession uh, the prostitution um and the freak offs where all kind of demonic activity went down i really don't think he's gonna get off y'all i really don't think that he's protected now okay um, but maybe that dream 
that I had meant that he's going to be free of his demons. Because once they use you, once demons use you, they have no use for you. Once you've done your, your bidding, your bargaining, well, you, you're no good to them. So, I will say this, and I told my friend girl this, my associate. I said, if someone takes P. Diddy out, every demon that's in him is going to overtake them. Because that's just how it works, y'all. And I asked her opinion on what did she think about P. Diddy, and she just said, well, I think it's just the choices that he made. You know, she was like, I just, she was unsure of the spiritual aspect of things, but it's our choices, y'all, that we make that can make us or break us. So, saying that, don't ever think that you can't sell your soul, because you can. If you make a willfully conscious decision to give your soul over then the creator is not going to hold your soul he's going to let you walk into darkness and when you walk into darkness evil will take you smack over have you doing all kind of things that make a big ass fool out of you and that's how evil works because Evil is nobody's friend, y'all. Evil's nobody's friend. And evil has no conscience. So, you know, recently I learned that um, these freak-offs were more than just sex. They were rituals. And demonic, you know, satanic, demonic rituals taking place on, on children. And I used to ask myself, how could people be so cruel to do so many hideous things to kids? But when you are taken over by evil that does not have a soul, that does not have a conscience, and you no longer belong to yourself, then... That evil can do anything through you. And so that's why we have a world with so many evil people. Because evil works through them. Didn't it say in the word, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and wicked rulers in high places? So when you see all this evil going on, it's not a physical thing. Well, it is a physical thing, but it it's a spiritual thing using human bodies to commit hideous unlawful no soul actions it's principalities and wickedness and darkness so I don't see P. Diddy as P. Diddy I don't see P. Diddy as just a, a man that's just evil and just made these bad decisions I see him as someone who gave himself over to evil for everything that he got and he he probably thought he could control it and it took his butt over and that explains why he has such an insatiable appetite 
for freak offs. But these are just not normal freak offs. These are these are a rituals and pain and 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 forceful assaults. This is not just a group of people that just get together and just decide they want to have some sex or have, you know, a group sex. Let's get together. Let's have fun. Let's just... This is something totally different. Something deeper. Something darker. I wish my friend would have came on here and we could have talked. But anyway, she, she like I said, she... She looked at things from the more carnal. I look at things from carnal and spiritual. Because let me tell you something, y'all. Everything that happens in the physical, it happens in the spirit world first. The spirit world is parallel to the physical world. And if there's anybody like, you know, you got some of these people that are really psychic people if if they if they had looked into P. Diddy's life they could have seen all this stuff happen before it happened and why it's because everything happens spiritually first before it happens physically but for all the victims God rest their souls And may justice, may justice win, you know, because it's really, really sad. It's really, really sad. Well, I'm going to tell like this. Y'all take care, too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my content. I'm out. Mm -hmm.